a uh, Koi Hagen here, has the reach advantage, long legs, long arms. Uh, let's see if he's going to put that to good use. He already did it with that low kick just below the knee. And another one. Koi Hagen also doing a good job using his movement, not necessarily chasing, but cutting Basturk off. There he is, moves forward and throws a counter right. Beautiful right straight. Yeah, his counters are really good. You know, his attack is great, but you know, he likes to lock his opponent up and then just wait for him to make a move and then capitalize on the mistake that they make. Yeah, you can see him sort of feeling Muslam out, just throwing things out there to see how he moves. Again, using that lower leg kick. And you see, what we also see the, the wider stance, you know, the, the stance that, like, I use in mixed martial arts for myself, but they're using it here in karate because it's easier to lock your opponent up, to control him. And we see it, as Muslam is on the floor, there is a five-second rule. Now, our fighters are clinching up, and you can clinch, but you have to throw efficient, effective techniques in that clinch, and that's why the referee just broke them up. And he keeps on going, stalking again. Let's his opponent wait. Waits for his opponent to pull the trigger. Oh, that nice right high kick too slow. Would set it up. Would be better. Yeah, but throwing naked kicks. Yeah, he does have speed on the lower leg kick, though. You can see him sort of using the pit there. So you have that 45 degree angle. It's using his environment to move forward. Yeah, that's something I, I truly believe that uh, once this, uh, you know, more fighters start entering here, people are going to use that a lot. Basturk is just kind of cornering himself. He just keeps moving corner to corner and he's sticking himself in the corner. Yeah, and it's not working. So uh, that's what they say. It's insanity, right? Trying the same thing over and over again <laughs> and expect a different outcome. He shouldn't do that. See, the counter here again from Quay Hagen was better. There's he. Muslim, straight back, he was just going straight back. There's that lower leg kick again. The five second rule, raining down punches. I call it the check hammer. <laughs> oh, that, that describes it. Yeah, everybody knows right away when I say jack hammer, what that means, right? You had it. And again, this is a 10 point must scoring system. So we're looking for the effective techniques. We're looking for the aggression. Look scoring that. advantage always for the aggressive fighter. Whoa, there we go. That was a nice ride. Oh, full on. Yeah, and then he right hits him with a body shot body as too. well. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Because normally people will focus constantly on the head, but he right away went for the body to open the head, and then he can, later on, if it opens up, deliver there some more shots. Well, yeah, he, he heard him with the straight punch and then followed with the body shot. And there you have it, Josh Quayhagen by TKO. Wow. That was easy for him. Yeah, and you see, you know, showing a, a respect, taking a knee, that's one of the beautiful things about traditional martial arts. You know, they're not in there to kill each other or hurt each other. They're in there to throw effective techniques, to show respect, and to win. Yep, I'm completely with that. I love it.